Mtoto akisa saliwa eh hapa kwetu samani ulikuwa na tabauti sana na sahi. Samani alikuwa akipika miaka 18 ndio kichana aenda atahiri. Eh wakati ambaye watu walikuwa wanasikwa samani tulikuwa wale wase walikuwa nachua kulikuwa kuna vitu sana ambaye eh, enalinda hao watu. Sababu watu walikuwa wanatoa nguo wakisika huyu mmaiti na kuna mama angekuwa karibu. Mama wanachivungia kwa nyumba. Wale wase kama ni wawili kwa sababu watu walikuwa wanaogopa kipo sana. Na kimtorosa ile familia ametoa awangochei kwamba nitawapatia mali. Wanakucha kwa nguvu, wanachukua hiyo mali hata kama ni rungu wananichapa wanapora vitu hapo ngombe sinaenda sote. Kwa hivyo wanachukua kwa nguvu wanavereka. Sasa mimi nakaa vila hiyo ngombe kwa sababu nachua tayari ngombe simeenda huko na siwezi kuata inaenda hivyo sasa tunapangilia maana wakati wa harusi Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Of course, this is Culture Hub TV, your number one online TV. It matters cultures and traditions of different communities of the world. So guys, today I am in Abakuria land. I am in Timaru village of Migori County. And today we are going to uh, outline uh, the rich tradition of the Abakuria people, of the Abakuria land. And we want to know more about the Abakuria man we want to know from their birth to the end that I'm, t I'm speaking of to death. The rituals involved, the traditions involved, and the cultures throughout the process of a normal Abakuria person. So, with me, I have a very interesting man. I have an elder, a very in informant person of this community, and I would like to engage him. I would like him to tell us more about the Abakuria people. So, guys, stay with me, stick with me, so that we may learn more about the Abakuria Korea people. Uh, and right, he is right here, as you can see. He is well dressed. He has some interesting stuff in his face. So, guys, let us begin. But first, let us have an introduction from him. Abari Baba. Hey, Ukoje. Ekengaria. Eh. Yeah. Sasa hii Ekengaria ni mtu wa aina gani ndiye anaiba? Hii Kengaria yeah. iko na aina mbili. Yeah. Aina ya kwanza uh -huh. eh, kuna vichana ambao wanataka ku wanafikia kiwango cha kutahirishwa yeah. ndio wanaivalia. Uh -huh. Alafu ya pili yeah. kuna ambaye mchezo ambaye anaitwa imitiambu. Imitiambu. Eh yeah, sasa hao tena wanavalia yeah. wakicheza. Okay. Ndio. Sawa sawa so ni mavazi rasmi ya kusherekea ama kuvaa wakati watu wanacheza. Hii ni mavazi ya kusherekea wakati ambaye kichana anavaa hii kofia akienda kwa tahara ikiwa kwa kichwa yake kama vile iko kwangu hapa anakuwa mgumu sana wesi akalia kwa sababu akilia ni haibu sana kwa hivyo anakuwa mkali sana kisu kimwendea anavumilia mpaka anakuwa mwanaume. Ni sawa. So kabla tujaendelea, pengine ujari uambie watazamaji wangu majina yako wa, ili wajue tunazungumza na, na, na nani. E, kwa majina yangu mimi naitwa Steven Mwita, mkaachi wa hapa Nyankongo. E, mimi ni mzee wa kichichi. Wewe ni mzee wa kijiji. Asante sana. So guys, as you have heard from him, this uh, d this deco around his face is officially used for during tradition, uh, during circumcision ceremony. The young boys who are going to be circumcised are the one who wear this. Uh, and also during ceremonies, the dancers and the artists of this community, they wear this for the sake of entertainment. Uh, Baba, sasa ningependa kujua. Um, ataka tuwanze kujifunza maswala ya toto wa kuria. Yeah. Kipindi ambacho mama amekupata ujauzito, yeah. hadi amefika kipindi ya kujifungua na amejifungua mtoto salama. Yeah. Ni, nini na nini ni ambazo huwa zinafanyika kabla ya kuwekea mtoto jina? Eh, mtoto, Ndiyo. wakati mama wako msito, sasa hiyo 
Unachua mambo ya mungu ni mengi sana. Kama ukiwa kwa wafama yako, unachua tu mama atasaa mtoto, lakini uchui mtoto gani. Anakucha na saa kama mtoto ni msichana, ama ni kichana. Inategeme uyu mama ni, ni mara ya kwanza ama ni mara ya bili anasaa. Kama ni mara ya kwanza, anasaa msichana, hiyo sasa akimalisa wiki mbili ama wiki tatu, hapo sasa mnakaa msewa boma na mama na kama soso wako, mnakaa na yeye, mnaangalia hii mtoto ni wa kwanza tumupatia china gani. Uyu mtoto kama ni msichana, kuna machina anabatiwa ile ya enatakikana kilasimi. Kuna e, enaito gati, hiyo ni china ya kwanza kwa, kwa mama huyu kama ni mara ya kwanza na saa. Na china ingina na hito poke, na china ingina na hito robi. Hiyo ni machina matatu. Kama huyu mama mesaa kichana, na ndiyo mara ya kwanza, kuna machina anabatiwa. Na uwezi kumbea china ingine hii, anabatiwa chacha, anabatiwa marwa, ama mwita. Hii ndiyo machina ya mtoto wa kwanza e, kwa mama. Ndiyo. So guys, back to our viewers, uh, the old man is just trying to say that there are some specific names given to uh, first children, especially for a mother who was never conceived before. For a, a firstborn from a mother, if in case she is a daughter, there are names like Boke. That goes for a daughter, and if uh, there, and if he is a son, uh, there is name such as Marwa. So for those followers of I am Marwa, right from Nyabohansi village, that uh, that simply means that Marwa is a firstborn in his family. So Baba, na kuna shere maalum ambayo pengine inafanyika ndo mtoto apewe jina. Ndio. Sasa kama china leo tutabea china ya mtoto. Unaita familia, muna, muna kaba moja, unaambia leo tunataka kubeana china. Na sayu chakule naandaliwa, ile mkika hawa labu mutakula kwa sababu yu ni serehe ya mtoto ya kwanza. Na ni chakula ipi ndo inaandaliwa? Pili. Chakula ile naandaliwa, kuna uche na tengeneswa, tunaita ntoveke. Ntoveke. E, na kama hakuna hiyo ntoveke, kuna ile kitu tunaita obosara. Obosara. Eee. Hiyo ni kitu ambayo inatengeneswa na machi na kimera na unga kidogo. Inakuwa ni kitu msuri sana kama vile sasa hii watu wanakunywa sota. Tukisa sasa ile tunakula hiyo vitu sasa ule kichana ule mama amesaa mtoto na ule kijana sasa wanakaa kando kidogo. Tunawaambia vile watatusalimia. Sasa wanatusalimia wase, alafu ndio wasalimia wa mama na wao wenyewe wachisalimie. Ndiyo sasa hiyo china kama unaweza kusalimia mtu wa inche ndio upeleke inche wa salimia kwa sababu china imepewana kwa mtoto wa kwanza. Ndio. Okay. So pengine ungetueleza wanawasalimia aje? Sasa kusalimia vile nilikuwa nimetangulia mapema kusema kwamba kuna machina ambayo natangulia. Sasa kama ni kichana tunasema isa koromaro. Wale vijana wanasema isa koromaro. Sisi tunawaambia isa maro. Tunawarutisia isa maro. Lakini hawa nasema isa koromaro. Sasi tunasema isa maro. Kama ni musichana, anaito gati, wanasema isa korogati, tunawambia isa gati. Hiyo ndiyo tunabeana. Kama ni musichana na anaito boke, unasema aje? Kama anaito boke, wanasema isa koroboke. Si tunasema isa boke. Ndiyo. Wow, yeah. that's so interesting. Guys out there, I hope you are still with us. So, uh, baada ya mtoto amezaliwa, amepewa jina. Pengine anachukua muda gani kwa mtoto wa kiume? Ndiyo afike umri wa kupashwa tohara. Ndiyo, hapo ni sawa. Yeah. Uh, mtoto akisa saliwa, uh, haba kwetu, yeah. samani kulikuwa na tabauti sana na sahi. Mm -hmm. Samani alikuwa kivika miaka kumina nane, ndio kichana haenda atahiri lakini siku hizi kwa vile mambo yanabatilika kuna kichana ingine akiona wale wakubwa wanaenda kutahiri wale wako na miaka 18 ama 17 pengine wako na miaka 14 hata yanaamua naenda kutahiri hiyo nakubalika kwa sababu mwenye anaamua mimi baba mimi naenda kwa tohara anaenda na tahiri kitu yangu mimi kumwelezea huyu mtoto ni hivi na ukiria anasema hawezi akalia kwa vile anaona wenzake vile wako Hata ya nakuwa ni kichaa sana wakubumiria yukisu. Ndiyo.
So hakuna umri tofauti ama hakuna umri ni ubabe wake ama wakati kipindi anaona amejiamini. Anajiamini. Kipindi anajiamini na anaenda. Lakini asiwe miaka ya chini ya miaka 12 iwe 13 kuendelea juu. Wanga ni kama hata ule kichano naona huko. Huyo akiamua kwenda kwa tahara ataenda. Ndio. Mm. Na pengine kwa mtoto wa kike, umri e, mtoto wa kike umri wake ni miaka saba kuelekea chuo. Isipokuwa mambo vile yanabahatilika hata siku hizi wanaenda wadogo. Na vile wanaenda wadogo kwa vile tunaangalia kwa maisha ya saa hii si vizuri. Kwa sababu anasema kwamba msichana akitahiri mabema tena anapata ndoa mabema akiwa mchanga sana. Kwa hivyo tena hapo tunaona kama si vizuri sana lakini hata anaweza kimbia aende kutahiri bila wewe kujua. Okay. Mwenyewe wapate wengine huko atahiri akuje, wana sikia mtoto anaingia kwa boma, ametahiri, unashindwa utafanya namna gani. Sasa hapo nakubali wewe usipogusa mtoto. Okay. Yep. Sasa ningependa kujua uh, bado hapo kwenye swala la kupashwa tohara kwa yeah. uh, watoto wa kike mfano. Uh, ni ni umesema wao wanakuwa wakubwa kidogo kiumri huenda yeah. miaka 17. Yeah. Uh, ningependa kujua mm, kwa nini jamii ya Mkuria ime peana, au kwa nini mnapashwa tohara watoto wa kike? Asante sana. Hiyo ni kumaanisha kwamba mtoto wa kike akipasa tawara hiyo ni kuonyesha kwamba anatoka sasa upande wa utoto amekuwa mtu mzima. Yep. Okay, so hmm. kupashwa tawara ni kwa sababu ya kuonyesha amekuwa mkubwa. Eh. Yeah. Hmm. Na ingine, mtoto msichana hapa kwetu kulingana testuri na mira, uhisi wa msichana ambaye hajatahiri. Kwa sababu akitahiri unachua huyu tayari amekuwa mama. Amekuwa mtu mkubwa. Amekuwa mtu mkubwa ndio aolewe. Kwa sababu wewe sienda kabla msichana atahiri useme kwamba unaenda kumuoa hiyo ni hatia hiyo ni hatia yep. mm. so kule jandoni ndio pengine pia watoto wasichana wanafunzwa mambo ya kuishi na mume au inakuwaje au mtoto au mtoto wa kike katika jamii ya mkuria anafunzwa vipi au anapewa elimu ipi ya kuhakikisha anajua jinsi ya kuishi na mume wake kipindi anaolewa E, kuna kuna wakati ambaye unachua kama siku hizi unakucha kukuta family mingi watu wa sehemu wanga wamekuwa wameisa lakini unakuta wale wako ni wasichana wadogo wadogo wale wachachua mambo sana lakini vile ilikuwa inaendelea mtoto wa kike alikuwa akivunzwa maneno na soso yake vile atakaa kwa sababu alikuwa akimwambia kuna siku ambayo sinakuja kunaanza kubatilika kwa hivyo ukiangalia hiyo siku imekuja na maana hii usicharibu ku, kuchumbiana na kichana kwa hivyo uchunge sana hapo ni hatio unaweza kupata mimba hapo na aibuka na hayo lakini kulingana na umri wa kuolewa haichalisi kwamba mpaka kufikise miaka ishirini uolewe hata kuna mwingine anaweza kaa mpaka miaka tano kabla hajaolewa kwa hivyo inategemea ni nani anakuchumbia ni nani hakuchumbi eh kwa hiyo hiyo ina maana ya kwamba katika jamii ya Mkuria msichana ambaye hajakeketwa hawezi kuolewa Ndiyo. katika jamii ya Mkuria Ndiyo. kwa sababu anasema kwamba aki, msichana akiolewa kuja kwangu kuna mlango kama hiyo naona hapo ya ngombe kama ngombe iko hapo hawezi kupungulia hiyo ngombe toke nje kwa sababu hajakeketwa lakini akikeketwa kama amekuja kwangu Uyo mimi najua anaitwa Mkamona. Sasa anaingia kwa mama yangu najua Mkamona anatoka kwa chaja. Ni sawa nimepokea ndio hata mimi nilipe mali. Ndio ulipe mahari. Ndio. Okay. So guys as you have heard from the man he has said that uh, according to Abakuria they have their own traditions and one way of uh, them knowing that a woman has graduated or a girl has graduated into a woman is by doing what they do i don't want to mention that for you guys but there are some things that their girls undergo before they graduate into a woman and uh, So we will again try and find more from him about the Abakuria. So baba uh, uh, kipindi sasa mwanamke pengine ameolewa. Eh. 
umesema before uh, lazima uh, akija kwako umeongelea jambo la kufungulia ngombe mlango ndio ulipe mahali Ndiyo. ina maana ya kwamba pengine katika jamii ya mkuria unaweza ukachukua msichana ukaishi naye alafu ndio baadaye ukalipa mahari au inakuwa e, samani haikukuwa hivyo Ndiyo. samani msichana kama alikuwa anawalewa Ndiyo. kuna kichana mchumbia yeye anasema ni sawa alafu uh, anatuma baba mwenye kichana anaenda kwa hiyo familia kina msichana wanaongea na, mus, na msee mwenyewe nasema wewe kichana yangu amechumbia msichana yako ameona ni sawa wakae pamoja e, na mimi nimekubaliana kwa bire tumeona e, familia yenu haina maneno saingine kama mama ni mbaya kwa hiyo familia kuna kusengenya huko nasema hii familia hapo si msuli kwa sababu ya mama ama si msuli kwa sababu ya msee kwa hivyo kichana usiwae huko alafu akisema hivyo kama familia kwangu mimi kichana nimesema amekataa anatorosa yule msichana na akimtorosa ile familia ametoa awangochei kwamba nitawapatia mali wanakucha kwa nguvu wanachukua hiyo mali hata kama ni rungu wananichapa wanapora vitu hapo ngombe sinaenda sote kwa hivyo wanachukua kwa nguvu wanavereka sasa mimi nakaa vila hiyo ngombe kwa sababu najua tayari ngombe simeenda huko na siwezi kuata e, naenda hivyo sasa tunapangilia maana wakati wa harusi tu e, lakini kwa sasa mambo mengine kwa sababu sasa hivi vile uliuliza swali yako kwamba naweza kaa siku hizi hata nakaa na saa kwako bila kulipa mali alafu ndio utavuta mali pole pole umuitie umupe e, ndio mfanye sasa hata harusi ndio Wow. So guys, indeed Abakuria people are uh, if you ever wish to or if you ever want to know about the most indigenous Bantu tribe that still practicing the cultural stuffs to the core, I want to believe it is the Abakuria. Because from the man, uh, we are just being informed that uh, the Abakuria people really put their strength in matters a uh, bride paying the bride price to an extent uh, of uh, even the in-laws would sometimes cross the bonds would even not want uh, to wait for the official ceremony like for instance uh, a boy out there dating an abakuria lady and say you decide to elope with the girl the abakuria brothers the men would come into a compound forcefully and take away the livestock in the name of taking the bride price they won't wait for the right time or the ceremony the official uh, proposal they will just take it by force and that means the abakuria still believe in matters traditional and cultures and uh, baba yeah. um, so kipindi sasa msiana ameolewa ame, mahari imechukuliwa yeah. na kila jambo uh, kijana <laughs> wa abakuria mm. uh, anaweza akawa polygamous maybe akaoa mwanamke zaidi ya mmoja hiyo inakubalika katika jamii ya abakuria hiyo inakubalika ndio eh, kwa sababu hapa kwetu uh -huh. eh, kuna wengine wanaweza wao wanawake wawili uh -huh. wengine tano uh -huh. hata kuna wale wako na nane na kumi uh -huh. eh hiyo ichalisi na, na ningependa kujua uh -huh. wanawake wanaichukulia vipi hiyo swala la uh, kuwa na uh, bibi zaidi ya mmoja eh uh, nikiwa bibi saiti ya hawa uh -huh. mimi naona saa hii ni ngumu uh -huh. lakini samani ilikuwa ni vizuri sana kwa sababu hata ule mama kama ameolewa kulikuwa na mali hiyo mali ilikuwa ni ngombe kwa hivyo naona mwana mume wake kwamba wenyewe hawezi kasi akiwa na msaitisi mwingine hapo ataweza kwa hivyo ndio ilikuwa hivyo lakini pengine na ndani huko hata kama iko karoho kana musumbua yeah. lakini anakubalika kwa sababu sengine inakuwa na mpaka awaye bibi tatu ama ine kwa nguvu yeah. eh sio lazima kwamba wakubaliana na kikataa yeye yeah, mm -hmm. eh. na huyu ambaye um, amekataa kwa mfano amekataa mke mwenza akiamua kuondoka hiyo ilikuwa inakuruhusiwa ya kwamba msichana anaweza akarudi kwao baada ya umemlipia mahari eh wanaruti lakini kama umeliva mali alavanya alavu anafanya harusi mm -hmm. kuna harusi ambaye namvunga kabisa ile tunaita embotorra. Hiyo uh embotorra -huh. kama umemuoa uh -huh. rabu kabotorra hiyo uh -huh. awezi aka hata akienda ataruti kwa sababu ni bibi yako. 
Sasa kwa hiyo embo torra nini inafanyika ndio inakuwa harusi na mfunga. Ni nini wanafanya? Hiyo embo torra kuna ngombe kwa kichana wanatoa na kucha kwa baba mkwe. Asi ngombe na kucha na chincho hapa. Kuna nyama fulani na hiyo inaenda na tengenezo wanakula wale wenye harusi wenyewe. Uko nyumbani kwa kwa kina kichana sasa. Imetoka kwa baba mkwe inaenda kwa kina kichana huko siku ile ya harusi. Sasa hiyo nyama wakienda watumie Hatu ukienda wabi, uendu vike wabi, utaluti kwa kichana. Mm. Eh, sasa yu ndi wanaito Mbotora. Mbotora. Eh, Mbotora. Mbotora. Eh, eh. <laughs> so guys, uh, marriage in Abakuria people is not matter usual. Uh, divorce in Abakuria people is a no-go zone. After you have traditionally married your woman, uh, your Bakurian woman or your Bakurian lady, and uh, a specific ceremony called the Embotora is done. He's just speaking of one exclusive thing that happens in the Embotora uh, ceremony is there is a specific cow that is being slaughtered in the in-laws uh, compound or homestead. Once that is done, uh, divorce is a no-go zone. The girl will never go back to their family. The girl will always be your wife no matter how much you treat her wrong, no matter how much you... Like, in short, there is a sense of ownership after that ceremony is done. So in Abakuria people, once a proper uh, traditional marriage has happened, divorce is a no-go zone. Baba, yeah. kitu moja kuhusu wakoya. Mm. Uh, Ninaambiwa ya kwamba wana kitu ambayo inaitwa nyumba emboko. Ama eh hey, hiyo najua hiyo. Nyumba mboko. Hapana. Inaitwa Kusaiti. Hiyo inaitwa inyumba mboke. Oh, inyumba mboke. Yeah. Hey, to my viewers, I'm just saying that in Abakuria people, they have this one a secluded a tradition that allows a woman to marry a fellow woman. But for the purpose of uh, continuation of the family, if, say, in a situation where a woman has just had a uh, girl child or girl children uh, and maybe her husband has died and... Uh, um, and the husband has died before they got a boy child. She is allowed to remarry, to remarry, to, to marry a lady, but she will now remain as the man of the house. The woman initially married to that house, who has uh, given birth to only girl children, she is allowed to marry a fellow woman for the sake of continuation of the family. But that woman, she is supposed to give a male child to this family. That also happens if a woman married hasn't maybe given birth to 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 children they wh what are they called uh semani tasa pengine they if maybe she was she is married and yeye ni tasa she is allowed to marry so maybe let us find the truth behind this from the man so unaweza kutueleza kidogo kuhusu nyumba mboke eh nyumba mboke eh imesikia vile unaelezea kwamba ni tasa si tasa uanga kuna mama nimeoa mimi nimemleta kwangu tumekaa na yeye e, na mimi niko hai na yeye ako hai lakini tumechaliwa wasichana na hao wasichana wanachoa watakucha kuolea watu waje sasa wakituacha hatuna mtoto kwa hiyo familia wamesa kwenda kwao sasa sisi tunabaki wake wetu sasa ndio tunacharibu kutavuta huyu mama atapatachi mtoto wa ko muriti hata ule ataliti hiyo broti sasa ndio tunaangalia tunasema kuna mtoto wako msichana wako kwa homa fulani uh, bengina amesama acha saa tuende tuongee na hiyo familia wakikubali tunawapatia mali huyu msichana anakuja kwangu sasa huyu akisaa Mungu akimchalia atasawa kichana hata kama ni mmoja ama watano ni sawa sasa hiyo ndiyo inaitwa nyumba mboke hii nyumba mboke ina inafanywa mwanaume ndiye anaenda kuhoa huyo huyo msichana au mama ndo wanaenda kuoa msichana. Sasa mama hawezi enda kusimama huko iti anawao yu msichana. Mm. Ni vila meretewa. Mm -hmm. Tunaesawangia na familia. Sasa wa mama wanaenda huko kwa hao. Mm -hmm. Tukienda kwa uwancha huko. Mm -hmm. e, anareto. Mm -hmm. Anakucha kwa voma. Ama tunayasatuma watu. Nenda mutumulete yu msichana kucha kwa voma. Mm -hmm. Anareto na wasichana kama watatu. Mm -hmm. Ama mamu moja. Na sema kwa mfano. Mm. Uh, baba. Amefariki. Ehe. Alafu mama 
amesalia na watoto wasichana. Wengine eh. hawakujaliwa kuwa na watoto wasichana eh. mvulana. Eh. Baba amefariki. Mm. Eh, huyu mama ambaye ni mjana <coughs> anaruhusiwa kuwa na nyumba mboke. Huyu ataitwa nyumba mboke kwa sababu hachachaliwa na kichana. Uh-huh. Msee akiwa uh-huh. eh huyu anachoa na mama Ndiyo. na bibi yake. Uh-huh. Sasa wakileta ile msichana uh-huh. pato huyu msichana ataitwa nyumba mboke kwa sababu haiku kuwa na kichana uh-huh. na msee akikufa pato uh-huh. huyu mama uh-huh. akona na, 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 na haki uh-huh. ya kuleta msichana huyu. Mama anaweza kuletewa msichana. Analetewa kwa mama ya kumsaidia kwa familia yake. Aha, mm. alafu sasa mfano baba ameondoka, sio? Eh. Mama ameletewa msichana. Eh. Nini inafanyika ndio wapate huyo mtoto sababu huyu ni mama na yule yes. ni msichana. Eh, sawa sawa, asante yeah. sana. Huyu mama wakati analetewa msichana yeah. haitu bibi yake, uh-huh. anaitwa Mokamona. Sasa ni kama kichana yake ameoa huyo. Mm-hmm. Lakini hayuko kichana lakini wamoita mkamona wa huyu msee. Huyu wa huyu mama. Sasa mm-hmm. akiwa hapo unachoa mambo ni mengi, machirani ni wengi, vichana ni wengi, mm-hmm. kuna hata wasee wale wanaona hapa macho yanamulika vizuri, atatembea hapo, mbegu itapatikana, familia itaendelea. Okay. Yeah. Sasa wakati mbegu itapatikana hapo, huyo mtoto atakayezaliwa hapo ndiye atakuwa mtoto wa hiyo familia. Atakuwa mtoto ya hapo na ataitwa machina ya hapo. Urithi yeye ndiye atapokea. Urithi yote ni mali yake. Okay. Yep. Lakini sasa mama yule mkamona sasa mkubwa, bi mkubwa. Mm. Yeye ndiye atakuwa anatafuta chakula ya ni nani hasa atashughulika na shughuli zile za bwana ambazo mume alikuwa anazifanya. Baby kuleta chakula. Eh, hiyo ni sawa. Kwa sababu kama msichana amekucha na huyo mama hako, wanaungana pamoja, wanaenda sambani pamoja. Ile bila mama mahali mama alikuwa anatoa hiyo chakula ndio atatoa mbaki vikio huyu msichana apate nguvu tena ya kuchitabutia. Na kama amepata vile nimekuambia mchumba mwingine hapo na yeye akileta kidogo, maisha yanaendelea. Na huyo mchumba akiamua kuondoka naye. Huyu mchumba sio eti akae kuna wale wanakucha wanaenda na kuna wale mwingine anaweza kucha akae. Uh-huh. Eh sio eti anakucha na hisi. Na kukaa inakubalika. Ina, akikucha akae inakubalika kwa sababu mimi mama siwezi nikaingia pande hiyo. Kwa sababu la anataka haki yake mpaka nikubali. Lakini watoto wote watakaopatikana hapo ni wa, wa hii familia. Watoto wakipatikana ni wa hii familia wewe msee huna chako hapo. Yule mchumba hawezi akasema hawa hapana <laughs> mbegu yangu acha niondoke. Mbegu anasema kando kando huko lakini hawezi akanyakua kwa chochote hapo. <laughs> <laughs> So guys you can see how interesting this uh, tradition of the abakuria is uh, a, a, a lady she is allowed to have a man outside the the uh, since the husband might not be there so the lady is allowed to mingle with other men but that is conditional the child bared by that lady will remain to that family and that child will be the one to ensure the continuation of that family baba mm. uh bado nataka kujua kuhusu sasa uh, umesema uh, yule mtoto atakayezaliwa pale ndio ndio ataendelesha hiyo jamii ndio ina maana jamii ya mkuria haina thamani kwa msichana mtoto wa kike hawaamini kwamba huyu mtoto wa kike anaweza yeye tu akaendelesha uzao wa familia yake hiyo eh, mtoto wa kike kama nimesema mtoto wa kike mm-hmm. alusiu kaa kwangu huyu mm-hmm. anaenda kuingine na kwingine huko kama ni kunisaidia ni kidogo sana. Kama niko na shida ama niko mgonjwa naweza kunipeleka hospitali ama nini. Lakini sasa wesi akaliti hata samba. E, kwa hivyo sasa msichana ni kuenda kuchenga kwingine na kichana ndio anakaa kwao. Yeah. Na tulikuwa tunazungumza kuna kipindi nilikuwa nimekana wenzangu na wakawa wananieleza ya kwamba kitambo jamii ya mkuria ilikuwa inazika uh, kipindi tuseme eh, mtu anafariki katika jamii ya kuria mm. ilikuwa inasemekana walikuwa hata wana, wa, walikuwa wanawazika wenzao wakiwa wapo uchi hiyo nilo ni kweli hiyo ni kweli uh-huh. sababu hiyo miaka ya samani Ndiyo. wakati ambaye eh, asante uh-huh. e, sorry guys e, wakati ambaye watu walikuwa wanasikwa samani uh-huh. tulikuwa wale wase walikuwa ndio nachua kulikuwa kuna vitu sana ambaye e, enalinda hao watu mm-hmm. sababu watu walikuwa wanatoa nguo 
wakisika huyu maiti na hakuna mama angekuwa karibu kwa mama wanachivungia kwa nyumba wale wase kama ni wawili kwa sababu watu walikuwa wanaogopa kipo sana kama una mandugu kuchimbia huyu mtu msike ilikuwa ni sita sana sababu akikufa ukienda kuambia watu wanasema wa wengine akikuja kwako na yeye anayasakufa walikuwa akisikia mtu amekufa hapa mpaka vita mbali hawezi karibia hiyo homa sasa wale wase walikuwa nasika wanatoa nguo wanasika wenyewe na kabla wajasika sasa mara ya kwanza kurusa mchanga walikuwa wanaviga makoti alafu wanaviga na hii hivi ndio naitoa je gumba gumba hii wanachapa naye mchanga kwanza kwenda kwa simu ndio sasa waanze ku kurusia mchanga eh yeah. so guys in short the abakuria people uh, really feared death and uh, from what I've, uh, what i'm gathering from the old man is that uh, uh, if a member of the family will die even women were not supposed to be there were not supposed to be in the vicinity in uh, and that was in the name of they feared death and uh, someone thought maybe if you are uh, there in that presence maybe you will be the next one to that to die or it will follow you next and so there were only specific men the old men who were dead na sasa kabla tujamalizia ningependa kujua uh sehemu kamili ambayo jamii ya wabakuria imetoka ili ya imetoka wapi sehemu za bakuria ilitokea upande wa tulikuja bande ya Tanzania kino asema sehemu za sudani ndio walikuwa wanakuja wakisonga songa wakakuja tukavika uh, unajua sisi tuko mara mbili tuko Kenya na Tanzania sasa wakati walikuja mpaka hapo wakakuja wakakambi mahali inaitwa Tarime ambayo ni Tanzania sasa wakikuja wakakuja mpaka sehemu inaitwa Mara ndio wakakuja wakakambi hapo sasa kwa vile wakulia walikuwa na ngombe mingi eh, walikuwa wakitembea wakisonga wakiona nyasi mahali eh, wakisaidia wanawinda anatembea mahali akienda aone nyasi anaenda anaambia wenzake wanaanza kusonga huko kwa hiyo nyasi hivyo hivyo kusonga hawaruti mpaka wakakuja kufikia sehemu inaitwa Kenya yeah so hivyo ndo vile walisonga yeah. okay na sasa uh, una, umesema ya kwamba walikuwa na mifugo wengi sana yeah. uh, wakuria ndio maneno ya wafugo tunaju, tunaona wa, jamii za wa nailots ndio wanapenda mhm uh, wa masai mm. kalenjins mm. the kipsigis yep. tunataka kujua kwa nini pia jamii ya mkuria mm. ambao ni wabantu sisi mm. tunajua wabantu wanapenda sana mambo ya ukulima mm. bukusu wa kisi mm. kwa nini upendo wa mkuria iko hivyo juu sana kwa wanyama kwa mifugo mifugo yeah. iko kwa kuli sana kwa sababu wanaipenda kwa sababu ya mapato Ndiyo. kwa sababu samani yeah. uh, wao kwa wana kilimo sana mm-hmm. sasa mifugo hiyo ndio ilikuwa chakula ya wakuria sasa mara mingi ngombe ilikuwa ikisaa wanakunywa masiwa wanatoa tamu kwa ngombe wanakunywa vitu kama hiyo na nyama eh eh so walikuwa pia wanatoa damu kwa mifugo eh kwa sababu wakule sio watu ambao waliwahi kusoma sababu ngombe ndio ilikuwa kila kitu yao wao kwa na mimea sana mimea ilikuwa kidogo kwa hivyo walikuwa wanapendelea mdama na wimbi na mihogo peke yake mahindi ili kuja kuja nyuma yake hapa lakini hiyo ndiyo ilikuwa chakula na walikuwa wanalima mahali kidogo sana sasa wakati walikuwa na ngombe na mbusi na kondoo sasa wanachisikia njaa nyama tiari maisha inaendelea maisha so guys you have just heard from the man himself uh, he is a clan elder like he told us initially and he has tried to use uh, uh, a proper language to relay this information about the abakuria because for us who didn't know initially more about the abakuria until now i hope you have learned something for me i have learned the love of uh, the livestock because he has just said that they loved the livestock because uh, uh, it uh, they initially they weren't uh, farmers and they relied in animals for meat and even blood harvesting from the 
cow and that was food for them so that's how the abakuria uh, loved so much uh, or that's how maybe they are born to livestock grew uh, he has also talked about the funeral and uh, how it's done uh, lakini kabla hatujamaliza sasa hivi kuna mila ambazo mnazifanya kabla ya kuzika mtu mila ndio eh Eh, kuna mila ambaye kama mimi Musa nimekufa na nilioa sichafanye ile kitu nilikuambia huko inaitwa mbotora. Eh hiyo huwezi ukasikwa. Kwa sababu inaonekana kwamba ilikuwa ngumu sana mimi kubotora. Sasa mpaka nipotore ndio nisikwe kwa sababu ndio hata ile family nimeoa wajua kwamba nimeaminiki msichana yao. Ndio. So ukifariki nani anafanya hiyo mila? Nikibariki kuna mandugu okay. kama kuna ba, mandugu hiyo ba ukoa okay. e, ukoa na sugulikia uh, yeah. na kwa jamii mfano jamii ya Mluya uh, mtu akishafariki akizikwa leo siku ya tatu kuna mila ambayo wanafanya wananyoa yeah. nywele wana kaburi sijui inafunikwa na blanketi mm. kwa sababu wakwe wanakuja mm. katika mazishi na nyinyi wa kuria mm. pia na nyinyi mko na uh, yeah. kama hivyo yeah sisi kama umekufa yeah. eh, samani kama ni mzee ama kichana uh, akikufa sana sana mzee nisungumzie mzee mzee akikufa eh, kikwetu wa kiume na malisa siku tano ndio mnyoe inywele uh-huh. lakini kwa mwanamke mmalise siku nne ndio mnyoe mnyoe inywele uh-huh. yeah na wako wanaruhusiwa kuja katika manzishi. Eh wako wanaruhusiwa mm. wanakuja mm-hmm. lakini samani unachua kualika hao sio rahisi. Mm-hmm. Au kwa wanakuja mm-hmm. ilikuwa ni familia. Mm-hmm. Lakini kwa saa hii wako wanakuja sababu inakuwa ni kama serehe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wewe mfano baba. Mm. Una kijana wako. Mm. Ameoa katika familia nyingine. Mm. Unaruhusiwa kukutana na mke wa kijana yako kusalimiana naye. Sisi kwetu hapa tuna hiyo mira kwa sababu kama ni msichana kijana yangu ameoa tunasalimiana kwa mkono. Nyi hamna mambo ya ukwe. Hatuna hiyo. Hamna mambo ya kuficha na ukwe. Kuna mahali, kuna mahali yuko. Eh, kusalimiana tunasalimiana lakini kwa nyumba yake singi. Eh, na kuingia hata nikalibisa. Kunikalibisa kama ni kijana yangu atachukua mbusi mzuri, akuja nichinchie, nikunywe subu, aniambie mzee sasa kwa nyumba yetu kama unaingia karibu sana kwa sababu tume kupatia supu. Okay. Yeah. So hadi upewe supu ndio uingie kwenye nyumba. Mm, yeah. Okay. So guys, in short, uh, the abakuria mm, doesn't have that uh, restriction. You will understand that the, in many tribes especially the bandus they have that respect accorded to the father in laws there is that respect uh, of in laws uh, to an extent of even never greeting hand to hand with an in law especially a father in law and a da- and a daughter in law or a son in law and a mother in law they will never shake hands because of that respect uh, uh, just between them and uh, maybe some other beliefs behind it which are Uh, if you want to know more about them just scroll back to our initial videos and you will find them this has been the kuria history the kuria culture and the aba kuria traditions and uh, of course i am your host presenter dante this is culture hub tv remember to share like and subscribe to our page for our returning viewers i'm so much grateful to you and uh, I will just ask you to continue sh- uh, sharing our videos and continue supporting us by viewing our videos and uh, we will so much appreciate. Until next time, I am your host presenter Dante. Bye.